everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do another cover and how to sound like video. This time we're going to do the Zephyr song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So before we get started, if you like this cover and sound like at any point, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way when we're sounding in my future uploads, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out forever, so I'd really appreciate it if you go and check them out. So this is a really simple song time wise from the Red Hot Chili Peppers but a great song nonetheless and of course being John Frusciante there's a couple of key ingredients so we need a good vintage style strat so for that I'm using my Matt Mullet S Classic and of course we need a good plexi sound so I'm doing things a little bit different today we're not actually using an amp at all we're using the new IR200 by Boss which is basically a guitar amp modular as well as impulse response loader so you can have loads of different amp types running into loads of different speaker cabs with different mics and different speakers and then use that as either a headphone practice amp, run into a PA live at a gig, or recording straight into your interface like we're doing today. I actually did a full demo of the IR200 by Boss, so if you'd like to see that, there'd be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. So of course, because we need a plexi tone on the IR200, I went into the British stack mode, which is based around plexi, into a 4x12 greenback cab, like a classic plexi setup, and then I've also used one of Boss's impulse responses to really mimic a really classic mic setup, which is an SM57 with the Royer R121. So that's it. Other than that, we've got a little bit of ambience reverb coming from the hall mode as well, just to give us a bit of space to the sound and make it sound more realistic. And that's pretty much it. The only other pedal I'm using, I'm using the Keeley Compressor Mini running into that because John Frusciante, a lot of people always think it's just his amp turned up compressing, and that is the case. But to get the level of compression that you hear on the studio, so many Red Hot Chili Peppers tracks, he's definitely using a compressor pedal, probably a Dynacomp now in here, but the Compressor Mini is a really great choice as well. So that's pretty much it. So the main parts that throughout the song are all on the net pickup. And then there's a couple of lead overdubs, like the solo and the outro arpeggios. And everything's exactly the same for that, but I'm just going to the bridge pickup. So I'll pull both those tracks from the intro song isolated. First, it'll be the main track that was on the net pickup. And then it'll be the solo and the little arpeggio lead lines on the bridge pickup. Again, we have the British stack plexi style amp in the IR200 with the 4x12 greenback loaded cab. And then the mic impulse response is the, is the Dynamic 57 with the R121, which is a really, really classic mic pairing for guitars. So that track, isolated from the intro song, sounds like this.
there we have it. That was the cover and how to sound like video for this FS song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. This one's really simple times wise, but a really different approach that I did in this video because we're not even really using a real amp. I have my Cornell plates, which I love to use for my Chili Peppers stuff. But I really wanted to test how good the IR200 is and if it would be a good replacement. So for Shantae, we had a couple of key ingredients like the Strat and the Compressor Mini from Keeley to give us a nice compression tone. But then everything else was coming from the IR200. We had a Plexi style amp in there with a Plexi style cab and with a classic studio pairing microphone of the 57 and the R121. And it's a really killer unit. There's so, so much more in this pedal. And if you want to see my full demo of that, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. But I think it does a really good job at producing a realistic amp tone and recorded amp tone as well. And it's really, really easy. You just have to plug in and plug it into your interface, or you can actually go from USB into your computer if you don't even own an interface and use the pedal as an interface. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of this cover and sound like and any future how sound like videos you'd like to see me do. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like this cover and sound like video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists. I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos how to sound like videos and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry and thanks for watching.